Hello everyone, today we're back with another Yusuko walkthrough here, and today we're going to be doing the second problem of the Yusuko 2020 December contest in the Bronze Division called Daisy Chains. So, I thought this problem was really direct, really easy, so without, without any further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so if we just read out the problem real, um, real quick, so... Um, I'm not going to explain everything, but basically the gist of the problem is that we have basically n flowers uh, lined up in a row, and each flower is described by the number of petals these have. And if you notice, uh, these ranges are actually pretty lenient, so whatever you do, it's going to run in pretty reasonable time, and it's not going to time out. So basically, um, we have row flowers, and Bessie likes to take pictures of these flowers, and a picture is described by basically a range, and this range is... Uh, between I and J inclusive and I and J are between 1 and N So basically basically Bessie takes a photo of all flowers between flower I and J like I said and basically She wants to know how many of these photos have an average flower. Well an average flower is basically um, uh, An average flower is basically a flower that has an average amount of petals in that sub array or basically what I decided I was gonna do is that um, I'm gonna take these numbers in as an array and in order to do the photo thing with I and J, when they ask for every pair of flowers, I'm going to basically do a combination of every every two flowers. So I know that I'm, I'm getting every pair and I'm checking for the average. Well, uh, basically, uh, we have to find photos that have an average flower, a flower that has P petals, where P is the exact average number of petals among all flowers in the photo. Yeah, so in this case, let's just take this uh, sample input and sample output, for example, work it out. Alright, so we have four and one, one, two, three. So in that case, that means this flower is one petal, this flower is one petal, or this flower is two, and this has three, and so on for other, an, any other test case. And in this case, we get six. Well, I've, t done the, uh, I've taken the liberty of basically just listing out all the possible combinations. And if you don't know how you got these, well, for um, one and one, it's simply just the, uh, one to one, one to two, one to three. And, okay, and then, oops. And then for this uh, for this uh, set is just one, to one to two, one to three, and for finally um, we have two to three. And uh, be note that um, these are not basically just the f uh, only two flowers that we're taking for each one. We're taking the range of flowers between each of these numbers. So, for example, for one three, we're taking all of these. For one three over here, we're taking all of these um, numbers and averaging it, not just one and three over here. So let's just work out this uh, sample test case here. So in this case, every picture containing just a single flower contributes to the count. All right. So what they mean is that if you just have one flower, just say that um, the only flower has one petal, then the average would just be one. And in this case, one flower has an average. And so we just add plus one to our count. So basically, we're just going to take all these numbers, uh, find the averages and the ranges in them, and then count them up. And then we return that as our answer. So in this case, um, I, we have uh, 1, 2, and 2, 4 um, corresponding to pictures that have an average flower. Well, what do they mean by this? Well, in this case, 1, 2 is just going to be 1, 1. Or if you don't know what they mean, it's basically just uh, indexes. But instead of starting from 0, starting at uh, 1. And basically, oops, um, we have 1, 2. Or in this case, um, right here, we have 1, 1. So in this case, uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. So in this case, we have a pair here that corresponds to an average flower. Or it's a photo that has an average flower. And in this case, and another one is 2, 4. So 2, 4 is going to be, in this case, 1 to 3. And 1 to 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's going to be equal to 6. 6 over 3 is 2. In this case, 2 is going to be an average flower. And... All we need to know is that a photo has one. We don't need to count them up. We need to count the amount of photos that have an average flower. So in this case, this one is plus one. So now we have a total of uh, one, one. And uh, in this case, it's going to be one, three. And we, that's plus two. Well, the answer, they have a six. Well, what else do we need to do? Well, in this case, a single flower contributes to a count. So that means for each of the every one where I and J are equal. So I is one, J is one, I is, J is two, I is two. They're each going to uh, produce a corresponding flower, like I said before. 
So in this case, it's going to be six plus two. Or I mean, or not six plus two. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I I should do that. Um, in this case, it's going to be four plus two or six, and that's going to be the answer. So knowing what we know now, we can just start the coding process. So actually, right before we start the coding process, um, I just made this uh, slide that I hope is going to be a bit more helpful in explaining this. So basically, like I talked about the combination of numbers, basically we read in the flowers. First of all, we read in the flowers as a single integer array, and we can probably just call that A. And basically, I and J is just going to be the indexes that we're going to use, but instead of starting from um, zero, they're going to start at one in this case, as the problem described. So basically, for each photo, we generate combinations of two integers, or i and j, between 0 and n minus 1 to create subarrays of um, of j minus i plus 1 length. And we do this because usually it would just be j minus i, that, because that would make sense. But then we also have to remember that we're dealing with indexes that start with 1 here, so we also have to add 1. And next, uh, of course, um, we have to sum the values and calculate the average. So if you don't know, or I don't know what age you are, but... Basically, to calculate the average, we just have the sum values and divide by how many values we summed up. So that's what we're going to do. And basically, we parse through each subray and count how many we have ad count him how many have average petals. And basically, at the end of it, we um we can either print count plus n uh, photos of length one, or we can just set um the initial count to n because um photos of length one will each have a flower matching to the average. So um knowing that. I made this little chart that models the sample input and output. So, sample input, they basically just give us uh, 1, 1, 2, 3. And basically, uh, all the combinations are listed here. And this, uh, oops. And this column describes the range. And uh, I calculated the averages of those ranges, and I've checked whether there are flowers in um, that match to them. So, for example, um, right here. Uh, one one in this case there are two flowers each of them has one petal so in this case the average just be one so that means uh, both of these flowers um are average flowers so that means they are they match and we can add one to our count and the rest of them don't comply except this one um you can see one one two three the average is to 1.3 none of these are 1.3 but and none of them match until we get to one two three and in this case the average would be two so um in this case there is a match so yes so in this case we have two matches plus the four of the photos that have one flower so in this case oops it would be two um two two um, matches plus the four so two plus six is six so i hope these slides made the problem approach um a bit more clear and now we can just hop onto our ide and start coding all right everyone so i'm here on my ide here and Basically, uh, since 2020, December, they changed the input format to be uh, standard input and standard output instead of, like, uh, read-in files. So, in this case, I've just declared a scanner. Um, you might want to declare Java Util or um, scanner. And in this case, I've declared n to be the scanner.nextint. And for the rest of them, I just declared an array and filled it up with the rest of the integers in the row um, just for the flowers. All right, so now that we read in our input, what do we do? Well, the first step is is that we need to create a variable to basically store the count of how many photos have an average flower. And we can simply do a uh, count. Oh, yeah, get clear. Uh, count is going to be equal to four because we know that um, i and j are going to be uh, uh, basically just not four n. In this case, we know that i and j are going to always have a single flower that or they're always going to match up n times because for each photo that has i and j as the same thing that means each um that only that photo is only going to have one flower and it's go obviously going to be equal to its average so all those flowers are basically average flowers and we need to consider them um next uh we have to create two for loops that are going to do the combination for us so like this they discussed in the problem we have to find every possible pair using i and j and in this case, we're just going to do a set of four loops that are going to calculate all the possible combinations. So in this case, it's going to be in j equals um, i plus 1. Uh, j is also less than n. j plus plus. And now what do we do here? Let's create... Hmm. 
Alright, so let's just uh, declare our sub array here. So let's use double because we're going to be dealing with uh, averages and we don't know whether they're going to be decimal or not. So you double uh, j minus i plus 1. So that's how we're going to basically do the range with between i and j. And then finally, we're going to, well not finally, just uh, next, we're going to declare a, a variable that's going to hold the sum of all the uh, no, flowers, of all the petals of, all the petals in this subarray. And this is the sum that we're going to divide by the total amount of flowers with petals and find the average. All right, so now let's fill up our subarray with uh, the stuff from our original array or flowers. All right, so let's just say in a equals I um, a is less than or equal to J. All right, let's see here. Actually, we need to. I see. Okay, let's declare. Um, oops, sorry, the voice cracked there. But let's declare a new um variable called B and let's call it zero. So in this case, we have to increment both um this both uh the index for sub and the index for flowers since we're putting the um stuff from flowers into sub but they're different indexes, so let's just do this. So we're gonna do A++ and B++. So we're incrementing both, and th that allows us to basically fill up sub with flowers A. Uh, flowers. And then sum is going to increment or sum up all the uh, petals of each flower, or just sub B, and then after that, we're going to scroll down a bit. Uh, well, I think we're done with that. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So now we can just calculate the average of um, basically each subarray of, of numbers, in this case, petals. So, uh, as you know, averages are just sum divided by the amount of flowers. Or in this case, it's going to be just sub dot length. And then from there, Declare uh, for each loop. Not sub. And we're, this is going to find how many are the average flowers. So if, if you read this again, um, an average flower is a flower that has p petals, where p is the exact average number. So it says exact average. So I assume that we're not going to be rounding here. Um, we can just round at the end, I guess. But for now, we have to compare each flower to the average, or each flower's petals. And if it, it's equal, then we add to the count, and we break out. Because after we add to the count, um, we only need one flower for each photo to be approved to be a, basically a photo that has an average flower. We don't need more than one average flower for each photo. So after that, there's nothing else to do except return or print out our answer. And this is going to be automatically graded by the server. And this is just going to be count. And we're using standard output because they changed it. And I think it runs faster. So, um, since we have scanner, let's just do a local test here real quick. And let's check for any errors here. Alright, so... Yeah, we have to input the um, input here. And we get six. All right, that's the correct answer. All right, so I'm just gonna um, quickly, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly find my file and put it into the grade server. I'll be back real quick. All right, I'm back. So I found my file. I've chosen Java, and let's go. Grading in progress. And wait, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, correct answers. Let's go. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoyed, um, I hope you can consider subscribing. Um, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you really want to. So, without any... F uh, sorry. Alright, so I'll just... Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.